Hello and good morning. Today I'm going to tell you about the most excruciating pain I've ever felt in my entire life. So, we go back a few years, I'm working as an entertainer in a holiday village, and one of my jobs was to dance and sing in a Barney the Dinosaur suit, under bright lights, in front of loads of kids. What could go wrong? So let me just tell you about Barney Sue. Barney Sue, the one that we had, was a professional one. Okay, it's big, it's heavy. His head is full of metal, big heavy metal. You've got a big brace around your body that's made of metal again. So it's like being an astronaut suit, except astronaut suits have hands, whereas Barney the dinosaur suits have useless little T-Rex hands. And they're not even hands, they're T-Rex mittens. He hasn't even got fingers, he hasn't got one finger. Okay, and the best thing about these little T-Rex hands is that while people are looking at you and you're on stage, you can't pull your hands out of his hands because they just shrivel up and wrinkle. It looks like he's just he just Barney debones himself. So you can't touch the inside of your body. And the inside of Barney is sweltering hot. It's so hot. It's so hot I only wear a pair of loose boxers. So I'm in Barney the dinosaur pretty much naked. Bar loose boxers. Now the inside of Barney is like being surrounded by duvets and you're under bright lights and there's nothing but hot air in there and there's no breeding holes. There used to be fans there but our one didn't have fans so I wasn't blessed with that. Anyways, so I'm on stage for about 10 minutes. I'm dancing away to Mr. Golden Sun. Okay, so how it works is I'm in the suit. I dance around. PA blares a Barney track and every time Barney talks I have to bite a bite guard and move his mouth and try to look like Barney's actually talking. And a lot of these kids they genuinely believe that that is the real Barney the Dinosaur dancing around on front of the stage. So I'm on top of the stage, I'm looking out, dancing away, all the kids there, like probably from the age of um, birth to uh, like maybe about 10, 12. They're all loving Barney the Dinosaur, they're all singing, dancing, clapping their hands, loving life, loving life. Now, here's what goes wrong. So I'm boiling, I'm sweating, my whole body feels like it's just wrapped in cling film, then I'm wrapping around in a load of duvets, I'm just sitting in the middle of Spain. I'm dancing away there, being a little bit of a tickle on the inside of my knee. I'm like, oh, it's probably just a bit of a uh, bit of sweat going, dripping down my knee. I was, oh, hold on. Uh, the sweat is not dripping down. It's dripping up. Oh, sugar. So there must be like a little spider or something crawling inside my legs. Oh, I wish I could just pull my hands in here in front of all these kids and then just slap the spider dead. No, it wouldn't work. Barney's hands would just shrivel up. All the kids would be like, what the fuck just happened? And probably be sad. Five minutes pass. I'm still dancing away. And this spider thing crawls up all the way to my inner thigh now. I'm getting dangerously close to the, uh, the privates. Now, it has taken all my mental energy to not brush it away. I really, really just want to brush this thing away because it's crawling closer and closer to the area. Crawling closer and closer. Closer and closer so much that it's actually inside my boxers now. It's inside my loose boxers and I want to kill it. I want to just whack it away, get rid of it, can't do anything because the kids are looking. So I'm still dancing away, dancing away. I'm, I've done this dance a few times so I know there's only about, I'd say, maybe eight minutes left. So I'm like, okay, just persevere, persevere, persevere. But this spider crawls all the way up and it literally, I can feel its leg tickling me sprouts. So he's on me snooker balls here. He's on, he's on, he's on the snooker. He's there, he's there. He's Jimmy Q ball, Jimmy Y standing there on my balls. So I can't take it anymore. So I quickly, I turn around, I pull my hand out and quickly punch myself in the area. And now as soon, as soon as I do this, I feel the most excruciating, painful, lava-like heat, pinpoint precision needle into the testicles. And immediately, immediately, I know straight away that it wasn't a spider. It was a wasp. And oh my god. So I immediately start screaming, No! 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 Screaming. From the outside, all you can hear is Barney still still dancing away, talking, Oh, hello baby Bob, how are you today? Right? And it, But if you just listen like close, and if you're up front, you can just hear the muffled screams of Barney going, So the pain is excruciating. I'm there bouncing around the stage. Okay, I can't leave. I can't leave because unfortunately for me, this particular Barney show is done in front of the curtain. So what that means is, at the start, curtains open up. Oh my God, it's Barney. Wow. Barney steps out onto the front of the stage. Curtains close behind him. And if you've ever been to a theatre, you know how thick and heavy those big, lovely, luscious red curtains are. They are ridiculously heavy. They've got like pretty much stones at the bottom of them. I'm there bouncing around. No, no. And I'm there, I'm trying to signal. I'm trying to signal to the guy to pull the show, to pull the show. Unfortunately, the sound comes on. On while I'm doing this so it just looks like I'm doing a crazy dance I'm there waving at him I'm waving at the guy in the box I'm going 
The kids are loving it. I'm bouncing up along the stage in pain and they think that I'm there pulling the bleeding. Sean Paul temperature there. Bouncing around the place. So I'm there, I'm dancing around, dancing around two minutes past and the pain is just multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. It started off unbearably painful. The most ex painful thing I can imagine. It's, it's gotten more painful that it's just broken the fabric of reality. That's how much pain I'm in. Okay, and I can't escape. And I can't even touch my own balls to try and save myself. So I'm there signal to him. He's not having it. He thinks that I'm having a great time just dancing away. So I pull my arm out. And Barney's and all the kids can see this. Barney's hand just shrivels up. Just shrivels up in front of all the little three-year-old kids. His hand just debones itself. Turns into like a snake skin. And he grabbed me sprouts and I just start squeezing. Just, you know, like if you get, like, I don't know if you've ever got, like, a cut on the arm or something, you grab it and you squeeze it just to try and stop the pain. So I'm there, one hand on my ball, one hand still in Barney, and then one of Barney's hands are just flopping about while I'm bouncing around on stage. Now, so just imagine this. Imagine you're in the mind of a five-year-old child. Your entire existence, since you've been out of the womb, probably when you're still in the womb, you could hear, I love you, you love me, let's all blah, blah. Okay, you, you hear that. Nearly every day. And now, five years into your life, you're now in front of the ve in front of everyone. Nose pressed up against the stage. You're that small. All I can see is a little pair of eyes looking up at Barney going, Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the real Barney. He's moving around. He does exist. Life can be magical. Things were a bit rough when I was four. I spiraled into depression. Went on the bottle. But now that I'm five years old and I've seen Barney the dinosaur, in real life, life can go on. Oh wait, wait, what's that? I can sort of hear muffled screams from inside Barney's head. Oh, what's this? One of his arms are just loosely flopping about around the place. I can hear screams of no, no, emanating from inside his body. Shoot back to me. One hand on my ball, in bits, screaming. I turn around to the curtain. I don't care anymore. I need off that stage. I need off because the pain is unbearable. So I turn around. I try to find the middle of the curtain to get out of. But I've only got just one crappy little mitten that doesn't even have elbows. And I'm in this big giant dinosaur where his head is like his nose goes so far outside the reach of his body. So I'm there looking up some weird sort of shrimp trying to open a curtain. And the curtain is so heavy. I just can't get at it. And like that, rrr, rrr, turn around, turn around, trying to get out, scrummaging me right through, scrummaging me right through. Right, eventually I do get out. And I just, once I get behind a curtain, I just drop and hit the ground. In Barney the Dinosaur, the way you get into the Barney the Dinosaur is you strip off, fit into your boxes, whatever. You put two shoes on you, his feet. And then, yeah, and Barney's whole body is up on a hook on the ceiling. So you have to have someone to come up, unhook and drop it onto you. And then they zip you up from the outside. So if you are inside Barney, Okay, if there's a fire inside Barney the Dinosaur and you catch a light, you, you're burning. That's you're as good as your, your barbecue. There's no way you're getting out there. I'm in there in Barney, two hands on me nuts, just screaming, praying, just praying that one of the girls or one of the lads will come in and unzip me so they can hear little footsteps. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I was, get me fucking out! Get me out now! Get me out! Right, the unzip me, right? Barney just gives birth to a, a sweaty, roasting pale irishy milk bottle looking uh boy and he just f flops out squirms out holding me nuts and the girl looking at me she's like what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong i just go get me a fucking onion get me an onion now and she's like what what i've just been stung in the balls by a wasp screaming at her red in the face screaming at her she runs off to the kitchen gets me an onion comes back okay, i'm in the dressing rooms now okay just asking jesus why jesus why have you done this to me what what is the reason for this what have i done to deserve this pain she hands me the onion right straight it box it whip the boxers right off don't care no 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 time for morals in this this predi predicament no time for morals during this torture that you have to en endure. Okay, so I rubbed the onion. I rubbed the onion all over my balls, okay? Now, the pain stops growing, okay? It's still there. It's still very much there, but it stops growing because there was one time that I was stung in the chest by a wasp and uh, it was like six in the morning when I used to be a bin man and I, w and I was taking bins out with this shot, uh, this little, like little spar and I went upstairs and was like, oh, can uh, do you have anything for wasps because I'm really like in pain? And they were like, uh, no, no, we don't. No, we don't. I was like, oh, okay. And then there was this Polish woman um that we worked on the deli and she was like hello 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 i can't do a polish accent hello hello i was like uh hello and like you 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 saw her? i was like uh oh yeah i got stung by a bee and she said bee a bee and she said, bee looking at me puzzled and i got up and then put my hand on my chest and was like ouch ouch 
And she started laughing. She goes, oh. And she cuts up this bit, a bit of onion and gives it to me and goes, okay. Uh, she just goes, rub, 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 rub. Rub it on my chest. Bomb. Pain stops. Okay, so whatever the pH of onion is, it denutralizes or whatever these things. So, top tip. If you get stung, rub onion on it. Rub, rubbing the onion all over me, me nuts. Pain. Pain. Pain is still there. Still very sore. It's like someone got a hammer and just cracked me in the ball with it. Like just, just the one, just the one. And it was like one of those like little sharp hammers. You know, I don't know what a sharp hammer is, but it was sore anyway. So that's the only way I can describe it. So I walk out of the dressing room. Still, still not wearing that and still completely nude. I'm rubbing the onion. I've got one hand on me sprout and the other hand on me onion just rubbing it. And I walk out into the smoking area backstage and I just sit on one of the chairs and I go, oh well rubbing the onion at me and I just turn my head to the right and I just see a load of staff just with smokes in the mouth just like wide eyed staring at me the restaurant the bar the chef all of them just standing outside there just staring there at me wide open like what the fuck 